How to rewind a stand fan Electric motors are relatively simple electromechanical equipment, but rewinding them isn't in fact. It's one project that's usually best left to the professionals. Given the sheer number of different motors and winding patterns, the rewinding process can vary greatly. However, it generally involves cutting the original windings out of the motor's stator or armature and replacing them with new coils made from wire of the same basic type and gauge. Let's go through each meticulous steps in undergoing the rewinding process. Come and join me! Hi everyone! If you are new to this channel, Please hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates. This is the stand fan that we are going to rewind today. It was confirmed through physical inspection that the windings of this motor was burnt down due to overheating. Before undergoing the process, let us know first what are the materials necessary to rewind the motor. First. The insulation paper. We need these to insert on the slots of the stator of the motor. Cut them into rectangular size that fits to the slots. Second, the copper coils. Make sure that you buy the new coils the same size with the one that we are going to replace. So if it is size 20 then go buy size 20. Do not attempt to experiment. Third, the insulating varnish. After rewinding, we need to apply this liquid to help reduce eddy current loss. Fourth, asbestos tie wire. In order to fix the windings, we need to tie it with something. Unfortunately though, we cannot just use any ties because the ambient temperature in the windings is so high. So we need a tie that can resist to it. Asbestos is a good candidate. The first step on rewinding is opening the inside of the motor. A lot of times this is easier said than done. Even though there are screws already attached to it, rust would simply made us do more than unscrewing. In here, we are forced to use grinding tools, cutting tools, and even strike the screws with flat edge in order to loosen it. WD-40s can also help in loosening the screws. The second step is removing the old windings. This is rather a simpler task. You just have to cut the ties in the windings, pull the windings out of the slots, and remove the insulation paper out of the slots. Be careful not to damage the stator as it is very hard to rectify or you may just throw the stand fan to the garbage bin if you did so. The third step is inserting the paper insulation. Make sure that the paper insulation that you cut is the same size with the previous one that you remove. Make as many number as with the number of slots and insert them all in the slots. The fourth step of rewinding is make a circular pattern the same diameter with the windings that you remove. Also, you need to have the same number of turns as those of the windings. Again, just copy the original and do not attempt to modify. The fifth step is insert the circular pattern of the coils to the slots. The same pattern was used in previous windings. Make sure that the end terminal of each windings are spread outside. The sixth step is connecting the end terminal of each winding to a number of wires depending on the type of motors. In here, we will not discuss the type of motors. All you need to do is copy the previous connections of each windings and you are all set. The seventh step is Tie the windings in order for it to become mechanically balanced. The normal pattern for this is to move the tie around the circular stator using a lead needle in order for it to easily pass through in between multiple windings.
The eighth step is apply an insulating varnish to the windings and let it dry for a couple of hours. The ninth step is reassembling the motor. This is done by returning the rotor and the stator in the same relative position before we dismantled it and screwing back the necessary screws to cover it from the outside disturbances. The tenth step is testing the continuity of the windings. This is easily done by multi-testers. We need to confirm that the terminals which we intend to be connected are connected and the terminals which we intend not to be connected are unconnected. The eleventh step is wire termination. Since we intend this video to be a guide for rewinding various types of motors, we advise that you just copy the previous terminations done before the winding was dismantled. So before you actually dismantle a motor, be sure to check the original connections and draw a schematic diagram from it so you just copy those connections to your new connections. The twelfth and last step is reassembling the stand fan. So return to the motor now, back to its original position in the stand fan assembly and fasten every screws and accessories to make your stand fan whole again. Special thanks to these people for taking the footage. That's it guys, so if you like what you just learned, hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates.